All right, so just before we wrap up on merging of queries, let's go to our Power Query Essentials folder and open up the number three file, Merge Queries 4. So in this file, I've got two data tables. One of them is called Biodata and the other one is called Academics and it contains information about certain fictitious students. And we want to assume that we would like to merge these two data sets together into a single data set that is going to include the ages and also the scores for each of these subjects for each student. Now let's assume that what we really want to do is to bring in this course for maths, English and biology to the student bio data data table. So which means that we would like to add three extra columns to the student bio data that has their maths, their English and biology scores. Now the problem here is going to be the fact that the table that we are trying to merge with does not have unique students' names. So for example, if I want to get the mathematics score or the English score or biology score for Ahmed, what is his score going to be for mathematics? Is it going to be 48 or is it going to be 87? Bearing in mind that when we are trying to do the merging of queries, we are most likely going to be merging based on the student's names. And the issue is going to be that what is the correct cause for Ahmed? Is it 48 or is it 87 for mathematics? Simply because Ahmed is going to be having two matches from this table. So let's see what this is going to look like in Power Query. So I'm going to get data from Excel workbook and I'm connecting to number three, Merge Queries 4. So I simply want to bring in the two tables, Academics and also Biodata, and I will click on Transform Data. So I'm going to include three extra columns here, Maths, English and Biology, but those things are going to come from the Academics data. So simply by matching the student's names. So if I go back to the bio data from the home tab, I'm going to select merge queries, merge queries. And this is my left table for bio data. And I want to merge the academics data to it. And I want to match this based on the student's names. Now the problem is going to be the fact that I am merging with a table that does not have unique matching column. So by the time I click OK here, you can see that my original data set still has four rows of data. However, simply because the Ahmed is having two matches from the academics data table where you have two versions of Ahmed. If I go back to the bio data and I expand the academics to bring in the maths the English and the biology. I don't want to use original column name as prefix. So when I click OK here, what you will see is that the Ahmed information is going to be duplicated based on the number of matches that it has found from the academics data. So that's why you will see here that Ahmed is now having two scores, 48 and also 87 for maths, 55 and also 86 for English, and then 88 and 82 for biology, exactly how it can be found on the academics data table. So essentially, when you want to merge queries, it has to be that the table that you are merging with is meant to have unique values for the key columns that you are using for your merge. Otherwise, you will end up having an increase in the number of data rows that you have after you merge because you are going to have replicated values for some of your data rules that are not unique.